If your throttle response when you're sim racing isn't perfect, you'll be leaving lots and lots of time on the table. In this video, I'm going to show you how you should be picking up the throttle to accelerate yourself out of the corner as quickly as possible and lower your lap time. Hi, I'm Scott Mansell, head coach from Driver61 Sim Racing, where we teach you to better your technique, win races and fulfill your driving potential. So one of the biggest problems that I see when I'm coaching drivers, both in the real world and in sim racing, is that their initial throttle response, the first bit when they get on the accelerator pedal, is too harsh. Now, the problem here is that that means that the dynamics of the car are all upset and you won't be utilizing the grip as well as you possibly can. Um, so we're going to take a look at one of our subscribers' footage here to analyze their throttle response and see how it's affecting the car when they're driving. So here we are on board and what we need to look at is the, the data overlay here. Obviously the green is the accelerator pedal and the, the red is the brake pressure. And let's follow the driver around for a lap or two, but just look at how jerky the, the throttle response is. The driver's on and off the accelerator pedal all the time. Now, the issue here is that when you do that, first of all, there's, there's two things that can happen. If it's really hard and you stamp on the accelerator straight away, if it's a real world drive car, it will just light the rear tires up and cause the car to wheel spin and oversteer like this, dropping all of the grip out of the car. And when you do that, when you drop all the grip out of the car in such a harsh way, it means that um, you're not driving the car in the smoothest way possible. Now, the second thing that can happen, if you're a little bit softer on the accelerator, we're st still too hard, but not just going from zero to 100%, kind of something a little bit jerky like this, perhaps like this driver. Um, the issue is, is that it will affect the weight transfer in the car. So rather than just lighting the rears up and getting wheel spin, you, you might just drop the, the weight into the rear of the car. So if it's too harsh, slightly too harsh, in a short period of track, in a short period of time, the weight as you get on the accelerator, it goes to the rear of the car. And that means that the car will then understeer because the rear has more weight, more grip than the front of the car. The problem here is that you'll be using then, if the car's understeering, all of the grip of the tires at the front because they're over the limit, they're sliding, um, but you won't be using all of the grip of the, of the rear tires. And so when you're not using all of the grip of every tire, um, around your car, then you're leaving time on the table and you've actually, you're driving to a lower limit because you've taken grip away from the car. So, again, let's watch this, uh, this, this throttle trace for a, a little bit. You can see it's on, off, on, off, on and off the accelerator. Now, typically this comes from not having, um, it's not because of the sensitivity in the accelerator foot, it's because of a lack of vision, poor vision, not looking far enough ahead. This reactive throttle response can come because the driver's looking too close to the car. They're not looking far enough ahead, they're not giving themselves the information um, enough ahead of schedule really, and so they're having to react to the car or to the track rather, by going, oh, I'm not sure when to get on the accelerator pedal and coming in and out of it. So my advice here for this driver is to try to look further ahead. We've got some other tutorials on um, vision and how far and when you should be looking ahead. But just to surmise stuff here, we wanna be looking towards the outside of the corner at this point here, now down to the next apex and across, back to the apex, looking through to the next one, now to the outside and to the outside of this corner. When you give yourself the information like this and, uh, and, and quite a long time ahead, maybe a second and a half or two seconds, it means that you can be much more precise with your throttle response. If you understand where the exit of the corner is and you're looking out there long before you actually get on the accelerator, you know exactly how much to get on the accelerator. Anything before this 
then you're not giving yourself enough information. So as a rule of thumb, before you get to the, just before you get to the apex, you should be looking out towards the exit point of the corner because it's at that point just before the apex that you wanna be just about getting on the accelerator. Now the next piece of advice is that actually in the middle of the corner, there's not that much going on in your pedal work. A lot of drivers uh, talk about needing to be on the brakes at the maximum or on the accelerator at the maximum. And that just simply isn't true. There's a period as we enter the corner where we're trail braking with very little pressure. And I've got a video on that as well, which, which I'll link to. And then just after that, we are picking up the accelerator quite early, but with a tiny amount, maybe 10 or 20%. And this is because we're trying to re-engage um, the engine, not transfer the weight too quickly to the rear of the car, and keep the momentum up through the corner. So there's this gap in the middle of the corner where we want to be on the accelerator just a little bit before we then head out of the corner. Um, and that's the most important part. If you find yourself on, off, on, off the accelerator, first of all, think about your vision and then think about how you are actually applying the accelerator. And look back at video like this so you can sp specifically look at the throttle trace and understand how you are getting on and off the accelerator pedal. Do that and it will make you a much faster, a much more consistent driver. So now that you've learned about how to apply the accelerator and how that makes you faster on track, why don't you check out this short playlist that I've put together that will teach you about trail braking, braking point and racing line. Just click up here on the playlist and I'll catch you in the next video.